Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, I want to teach you guys about getting more production on your fig trees in longer season climates. Places like California, Arizona, Texas, Florida, Louisiana. You guys have um, a really nice climate for growing figs, whereas here in my climate, we only have about 180 days of frost-free days. So I'm really focusing on, and I have been focusing on, my videos have been focusing on production that's earlier, not necessarily more. Um, of course, I want to have more figs, but I also want to get them here to ripen before September 15th. But a lot of you guys don't necessarily care about that. You just want more figs. You want them at high quality. And this is what that video is all going to be about. So what we're looking at here is a tree that I wanted to showcase to you guys and look at very closely. This is a tree that we had pinched. What is pinching? It's simply just removing the apical bud at the top of the tree, on the top of the limbs, you take off this tip, you break that off with your thumb, you can cut it off with pruning shears. It forms a new tip that's forming right now and also figs all along the branch. And why does this happen? Because we're removing the auxin at the top. The auxin stored at the most at the top. Once you remove that, it tells the, the tree now to focus its sugars into different locations of the tree. And now the sugars are being put into fig production. Now we know this, and this is a really nice tip, a nice technique for you guys to use in a short season climate, because now you're gonna get fruits when you want them. You're basically telling the tree to do what you want at the time that you want, and you're gonna get earlier fruits. So without a doubt, this is a really important technique in short season climates. However, this also will enable you in a longer season climate to get these fruits earlier. In the case of Breba, there's a nice little lull in warm season climates between the Breva crop, which is what you see here on my LSU Scotts black tree, and then the main crop, which is now forming here. So this is a really big difference between these little figs here and fruits that are already being ripe. And I can pick probably today if I wanted. So that's a long, that's a long uh, time, a nice little window there. And if you guys would pinch, on particular trees, you could get this production earlier. You wouldn't have to wait between the Brabas and the main crop as much. And also, if you didn't have Brabas, let's say, you would get this also earlier. Now, the video is though about more. We're not talking about earlier, we're getting more fruits. But here's the thing is that once we take off the tip, which we did also on this limb here, the scar is actually right here and it formed this new limb. And ever since, I have pinched off the tip once again to then get these fruits to form on these nodes, which it will very soon here. But you can see that once we've pinched, it formed one, two, three, four new branches. Because not only does pinching form new fruits, but it forms new branches. It takes off that apical bud. Removing the apical bud, again, focuses its sugars in different locations on the tree not just the figs, but also to forming new branches. So by getting more branches, we're now getting more figs. It's really as simple as that. You can see it also up here, is that we pinched this limb. You can see how old this wood is. It's hard and it's got figs on it. This is the wood that we had pinched. And then up the top here, this is the new growth. And this is where the figs will form continuously till frost. And this is what you guys can do in warmer season climates as well is that, yeah, we're getting all these fruits up in here, but now this new growth is coming, not just one branch, because this was one branch here, this was one branch here, and this was one branch here for a total of three branches that had figs on it. But if we can multiply the number of branches we have and get figs on every single one of those new branches, we're then really uh, compounding interest here on the amount of figs we're going to get at the end of the year. And this is across the board on all figs. It doesn't matter what variety this is. It doesn't matter where you live. You will get more production this way. The only thing that I worry about here in my climate and why I don't really focus on these new limbs too much, you can see here's another example. Here's a fig here, new branches, new branches, is that I want the figs earlier. I don't really have time to get them to ripen if these figs form after like July 15th, which is roughly about a month from now, they're not gonna ripen here in my climate. 
But for you guys, they will, because they only take about 90 days. Once you get the figs to form, they only take 90 days from that point. And I want to show you guys another tree over here that really illustrates this well. This is my Azores Dark right in here. This is in a five gallon size pot. This was an air layer that we took off of my mother tree last year. And you can see all up and down these branches here. I know that's probably difficult with the shadows, but the tree grew all the way to about here, which is where we pinched. It put out all these fruits because we pinched it. And now it also has put out all this nice long growth. This is about maybe six to eight inches of new growth. Also another branch down here. And on the other limb, across from it, the same thing. Another branch down here and another longer branch up here. And this is exactly what's gonna happen to your trees if you do this technique in a warmer season climate, is that you're gonna get these earlier fruits, these earlier main crop fruits, prevents that Brit, that lull between the Breba and the main crop. Then you get these new shoots that form, and I don't even have to pinch, because the fig tree is already fruited, and it's gonna continuously fruit on this new growth. The branches that have just come out of the tree are now forming figs without any assistance at all. Again, the only issue here in my climate is that I wanna take off these tips once again. I wanna break this off because I want the fruits to form now. But for a lot of you guys, it doesn't matter. You guys live in warmer climates. You guys have not 180 days of frost-free days, but maybe you have 250 days. So you guys have a much longer season, a much more better climate to get this production that you're looking for. And this is honestly the best way that I know of in a long season climate to get solid, consistent, large production off of our fig trees. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I wanna thank you all for watching. And also please share this with somebody who you think would be interested in growing figs. Maybe you have a friend that has been thinking about it. Share these videos, share the channel with that person. I'm sure they would love it, love to learn something new. And I wanna thank everybody again for watching. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll catch you guys all for tomorrow's video. Take care, everyone. Have a nice day.